All right, so we're checking out the Secure SQD60B Pro soldering iron in this video. So for those of you that are here just for the giveaway, you're probably gonna wanna watch the whole video to make sure you get the rules for the giveaway. A lot of you are missing out because you're not uh, watching the whole video and following the rules. And uh, unfortunately, if you don't follow the rules, you can't win. So stay tuned and make sure that you are listening for all the details for the giveaway if you're here for that. All right, so this is the pro version of the uh, D60B that I reviewed, uh, I think it was maybe sometime late, I think it was September 2021, so about six or seven months ago. So this comes in two different versions of the pro version. So there's one that doesn't come with this carrying case, and then this is the uh, more expensive one. It's like $10 more comes with the carrying case. Uh, and I think a couple extra things inside the box. Alrighty, so here is what we've got. So yeah, I think, I think this one comes with the case. It comes with, I think, some extra solder. Um, you probably want to check the two links. I'll put probably both of them. Actually, I think it's the same link, but if you go to that page, you want to look at the different versions, they'll tell you which one's which, and uh, see what you're going to get. Obviously, you won't get the case in the standard version, and I'm pretty sure you don't get the solder. Okay, so you got a uh, USB-C to barrel connector adapter. We got a barrel connector to an XD60 plug. And here is the standard um, soldering tip that comes in this package. There are obviously a huge number of different tips you can get for this soldering iron. And here is what the soldering iron looks like. Soldering tips obviously goes in there. A couple of buttons, LED readout, USB-C plug over there. And yeah, you can see it's 1224 volts, uh, 17 to 60 watts is the power output. And this is a, a USB-C to USB-C cable. I believe this is what allows for the power delivery to work. Um, if you looked at the previous video, this is the original D60. I did that video last year. Uh, it does come with a XT62 uh, barrel plug as well, and then it comes with the barrel plug to USB-C. Did not come with this cable. This was an extra purchase, but it comes in this kit as included. So I, not 100% sure. I, 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 that's one of the differences between the or the original version and the pro version. And I believe um, the original version only goes to 400 degrees Celsius, while the pro version now goes up to 450 degrees Celsius. If you're just looking at the uh, Irons themselves, pretty much identical. Just slightly different in color. I do like the gunmetal and the black a little bit better than the gray. All right, so back to the unboxing. Get this solder here. I don't think it's anything special. You get a little hex wrench here, and that is for this uh, screw right here. And one more Allen wrench. And you get your little standard uh, soldering iron holder. Some stickers, of course, and this is the manual. Interesting right off the bat here on the parameters here. Obviously, the voltage you give the iron will de determine how much power it gets and how quickly it will reach 280 degrees Celsius from 3 degrees Celsius. So at lower voltage, obviously, it takes longer. At a higher voltage, it's much shorter. So let's think like you know, 24 volts is around a 6S battery. Pretty quick. And if you're on a 3S battery, uh, not so quick. Takes quite a bit longer. All right, so I'm going to test out the iron here with the uh, included USB-C cable. It matters which one you plug in where, because uh, there's a little chip in here that gives the um, power delivery instructions to the power source. And I'm going to use this little um, power bank here. Uh, this only goes up to 20 watts. So it's probably going to take a long time for this to heat up to temperature because it's not obviously not enough power. Obviously, if you want to go with uh, more power, you should probably get like a power brick or power bank that does a uh, higher uh, output power. And then um, uh, obviously, if you use like a USB-C power delivery power supply uh, like this one here, this one up with 65 watts, this will work pretty well. All right, so it looks like it's topping out around 376 or so. It's pretty slow right now. I am only on a 20 watt 
power bank. This is running off of this power bank, just off the battery alone. And it is, yeah, I set the temperature to 400, but I don't think it's actually there yet. Yeah, that solder is definitely melting on here, no problem. Yeah, so about 380. It's slowly building up, but it's hot enough where I can uh, go ahead and test this out. I'm going to go ahead and pull these wires off of this board. Yeah, so it's working uh, pretty much as expected. Um, for whatever reason, I thought this would go up to 450, but it won't let me increase the temperature above 400. I might have missed something in the instructions. Anyway, yeah, I'll go ahead and turn it off here. You see the uh, ESC for escape. That will power down and it should return. Well, you want to return everything back to room temperature. You don't want to uh, have this powered on all the time. But basically it looks like it works pretty much the same as the original D60, uh, but now includes the uh, extra USB-C cable that you need for the uh, USB-C powered, USB powered delivery function. Anyway, uh, regarding the giveaway, pretty simple. All you gotta do is go down to the video description. There'll be a link to a giveaway form with the actual rules. They'll be on the giveaway form. Just follow those rules. Uh, pretty simple. You gotta fill out the form there with your email address so I can get in, so I'll be able to get in touch with you. And then uh, one of those uh, instructions in the giveaway form will be to leave a comment down in the comment section and only one comment only, please, and use the same YouTube account that uh, you're listing in the giveaway form because I know some of you are running 10 YouTube accounts for whatever reason. Uh, I need to make sure that the comment you leave matches your entry. Otherwise, it's not going to, if it doesn't match up, then I can't give you the prize. Otherwise, it looks like you're trying to scam me and, yeah, and trying to pretend that you're somebody else. So just follow the rules in the giveaway form link in the video description and I will pick a winner. Um, in the, actually 24 hours after this video has been posted so you'll find out right away if you've won or not anyway that's going to do for this video if you have any questions let me know and i'll talk to you guys in the next one